Hi guys, my name is Alex, also known as Mad Panda 503 and this video is not really much about the gameplay. Um, it's more of a what I feel about this game and what I, you know, just kind of dissect it, I guess. Um, this is a, uh, I mean, this is my, not my first Call of Duty game, of course, and I also want to, this is more, like the title says, questions and answers. I want to know what you guys want to see, what you guys want me to do, all that. Um, and that's why it's not going to be a long video, because I have a lot to say, but... Anyway, about the game. Um, the game, of course, has a lot of flaws. Uh, such as spawning, of course. Uh, one enemy can spawn right behind you, even though there's only a foot of wall between you two. And I don't like that. Of course, who does? Um, I've seen a lot of bullshit spawns, though. And I've had very bad gameplays because of the spawns. This one is just a... If you're wondering, before I read the comments or hear from it, um, this is my mob fail. <laughs> um, I was just going for it, having fun, and then, yeah, I never got, I got, like, my special list bonus three, four times? I don't remember, but, anyway, uh, about the game, um, and the DLC especially, because the DLC came out today, the, for those of you who don't know what DLC is, it's the new maps that just came out for Call of Duty Elite members only. Now, meaning Elite Premium. You can get Call of Duty Elite, just not the... It's not, it's free. It's not the $50 one. Um, and I'll tell you a reason why I don't want to get Elite. Number one, sure, I'll wait for the DLC pa map packs to come out. I mean, they will be available, don't get me wrong, for the non-Elite, or non-Premium members. But we'll have to wait until, I believe it said March. I'm not positive, but I think it's March. But anyway, uh... Not only multiplayer maps are coming out each month. What Call of Duty Elite is, which most of you I'm sure know, but just in case, uh, is um, you you get uh, content every month for nine months after purchasing Call of Duty Elite, and new content will arrive in the store section of MW3 when you put it in the game into your system. Now, for PS3 users, I'm not positive, but I don't know when the DLC will come out for you guys. I'm sure it will though, but. In my opinion, if you're a PS3 player and have Elite Premium, you should be able to get it as well on the same date as the Xbox players get it. But, um, anyway, why I'm not buying Call of Duty Elite is that not only multiplayer maps are coming out for MW3, also survival maps are coming out as well as, I believe, some new missions. And those, to be quite frank, um, I kind of really don't care about them. Uh, I just want multiplayer maps to play on. And that's why I'm not buying uh, premium. I wanna just wait it out and uh, just get buy the. I'm gonna see if it comes out like this. But my plan right now is to buy sections of it. Like I want these maps, these maps, these maps. Just buy the maps. I don't want to buy the survival and uh, missions. So that's why I'm not spending 50 bucks, and that's probably why you won't see the new maps on my channel for a while. Because I'm not buying it. Anyway, um, so there was an update for uh, when you put an M on your Xbox today. For when you put in when you put an M to three, there's an update that loads up. Uh, it's just for the elite members. Don't worry about it. It's, I thought it was gonna be something about that change the game. Maybe they finally fix the spawns like perfectly. Get some glitches out of ground war or lags more like. But no, it was just to upload the playlist for Call of Duty Elite members, um, premium members, so that they can play the new maps right away. It's I think it's just game modes for those two maps that just came out. So, um, my thoughts on the maps, um, I haven't really quite memorized their names, but that one in Central Park, it looks like in New York City. Uh, that one looks very campy to me. Looks like it also looks like, of course, as everyone says, um, something that they took out Battlefield 3 um, but it looks very campy and the gameplay I've seen so far it it's not my kind of thing it's just snipers sitting in corners hiding in the leaves and waiting until you get into their lines of sight so I'm not I'm not too stoked about that one but the other one the close quarter ones I don't know how it's gonna be I, I can just see a lot of striker guys going to play just that map just bumping up their strikers or their shotguns it's a looks like a very great or very good map for shotgun players um and i mean i love shotgun i love the striker don't get me wrong um but 
I am disappointed about the spaz in this game, but, um, so, uh, yeah, that's my thing, uh, thoughts on the new maps. Um, I'm still excited for them, I mean, don't get me wrong, like I said in my, I uh, think, three, two videos ago, something like that, I really wanted new maps, and I had seen those before, I just really, didn't really touch up on them, on my thoughts, but, this video is just a little bit about, you know, me, as well. Um, me, I have always loved the Call of Duty series. I've played since COD 3 or COD 2 um, on actually original Xbox. But then I, I borrowed World at War. I never bought World at War. I've always been an Infinity Ward fan. Not for their, uh, you know, f fixing the bugs, but for their games. I mean, COD 4 is still to date, in my opinion, the best Call of Duty game out there. Um, it's a shame that's all laggy now and also has a lot of hackers, but I mean if I find a called for uh, If I find a god for uh, cod for lobby without you know any hackers. I, I enjoy I Enjoy I stay in that lobby until everyone leaves <laughs> um, I also play a lot of modern warfare 2, but it, uh, I mean the good thing about mw3 compared to mw2 is that I am not scared to go outside anymore MW2 is chaos for me. It's insane. Um, I, I'm as you can tell. I'm usually a ground war player, but this time I'm playing domination. This gameplay in the background. Um, that's why I'm very <laughs> disappointed in Infinity Ward for not fixing the uh, lag compensation in ground war. I believe that it, it's either really bad luck with the host connection dash, uh, other people having bad connections. Or it's just Infinity Ward's fault, and I'm shouting you guys out on it. <laughs> so, anyways, this video is wrapping up. I've been talking for a very long time. Um, so yeah, uh, that's so we covered a little bit about myself. I love COD 4. Covered about why I'm not buying Call of Duty Elite Premium member. Well, yeah, becoming a premium member. And what else did we talk about? I totally forget. <laughs> anyway, guys. Um. If you like this video, I guess, uh, this is a little bit more about myself. This is, please go check out some other videos. I actually don't rant off for eight fucking minutes. Uh, <laughs> this is just a little information video, Q&A. Um, so if you have any questions, please ask me, comment, message me. I want to play with you guys too. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, subscribe if you want for more updates on other things, I guess. And thank you for watching for... And listening, especially me rant on, but this is a 49 gameplay as you can see. Take care. Here you go, guys. I decided to leave you a link to my last video. It's just a little clip, but you can also go to my channel and check out other gameplays. I have two of them currently, so if you enjoyed this, uh, rate, comment, subscribe again, and thank you, guys. Have a great day.